to have a bit of a dirty camera. Give me one second here. There we go. I must have put my finger on it. Going live. Hello, welcome. Thank you for waiting. I know I'm a couple of minutes late. Um, so I appreciate you girls, you guys, whoever you are, are all here waiting for me. I can see I've already had a few comments. So hello Darlene and hello Donna. My name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. I'm on the central coast of New South Wales, which is a titch north of Sydney. So about an hour north of Sydney. But Sydney's still very easy to get to, which is fantastic. So if you are coming in, please make sure you say hello and give me a thumbs up if you like my card making videos because that helps um, that helps new people find us and be able to interact with us. So thank you, thank you. Now, I had so much fun on Tuesday over on Facebook delving into my use it up bits and bobs. We're delving into my use it up bits and bobs again because I shared this card on my blog just a couple of days ago and this is using the SU Colour Challenge. So it's Fresh Frasier, Pool Party, um, pale papaya and blushing bride now I have a few bottles that are left over uh, from me making this card oh thank you Debbie I appreciate that hey Leslie um, so I've got a few bottles left over and I thought we can use those today and make a different card hey Shari how are you and make a different card so that's what I'm doing hello Bobby Boo um, so that's what we're going to do now the stamp set that I have used because I don't know that I'll be stamping with it hey Rita is vintage Christmas now this um, stamp set hey Miss Bonnie um, this stamp set coordinates with the vintage bottle punch that is in the annual catalogue but this vintage Christmas stamp set is actually in the mini catalogue so for the card I just showed you it's not even Christmassy not even Christmassy so you can use it lots of other ways than Christmas um, I I think I've got some bits and bobs in here where I've tried a Christmas card. You never know. We might make a second card with those bits and bobs because we're still using the same stamp set. Now, someone just popped on. Hello, Colleen. Sorry, just in case I did not say hello to you. So I'm just going live on this. I can see everyone. Everything is working. So let's flip around, delve into my use it up bits and bobs. I called it a use it up box a very long time ago when it was a box, but it was much easier for me to transfer it to this pouch. Um, but I still call it my use it up. Hello, Miss Carol. Loving all those purple hearts. Right on trend for me. Hey, Dawn. So has everyone been crafty this week? Have you made a card or are you planning a card? Carol, you're not late at all. I haven't even started crafting. And even if you are late, you can always go back and watch this video on replay. Now, can we please pray? Because the technology gods were not kind on Tuesday over on Facebook. So we're praying that the technology gods are kind today and they were so I need to do this check can you guys hear me because on Tuesday I had issues with being locked out and with sound so we're just sorry for the in and outs in and outs I'll go turn off my light and see how that looks
Okay, I can go in a bit more. Okay, I think that might be it, but we shall see. Let's just see. Good afternoon, Cherie. That is a perfect zoom in my eyes. You can see everything, but you're not so far away. Yes, you can. Yay, Carol. That is so much better. So much better than uh, Tuesday. But Tuesday has been and gone, and today is a new day. So, no one's answered if they've been crafty this week. I do hope you have. Oh, yes, I know, Colleen, right? Okay, so, whole mini catalogue. Let's have a look at where Vintage Christmas is, and we can have a look at what um, the concept design girls have done with it. It is on page 63. So, 61 skipped right over so this is it on page 63 and they've made two very simple cards we do have the shakers um, that work with this one image the little short bottle does not have the punch or the shaker pouches but the taller thinner bottle does and then you can use these images to build up um a bouquet so that is what stampin up has done and it's own it's a 28 dollar stamp set which is fantastic you craft every day carol i love that <gasps> coloring some backgrounds for die cutting well hopefully i can keep you company while you do that sheree okay so as promised or as i said i was going to do after Tuesday, whoa, I put all my bits and bobs, I've got it all organised within here, like into categories. So the good thing is I can kind of tip this out to a point. I was thinking maybe we could use that one. Now, I do have... This one, this has lots, lots of layers of vellum um, put on that. And then I have some bottles and I have another bottle. So I have a number of things here that I can use. Bum, 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 bum. Could... Yeah, the wattle, I think, is just a bit, a bit big for um, these bottles. It almost seems like the wattle will tip over. And you don't kind of want that. I don't, the butterflies I think we agreed were a bit big, but that's okay. Although I do have, no, I used the butterflies the other day. That's okay, we don't need more butterflies. That's fine. I do have a little bee in here. Oh, hang on. Look, a bee has come out. And the bee, I think, matches with this quite well. So we may use that. I will put these all back in later. And I'm going to grab... Oh, the butterfly can go in there. I'm going to grab my sentiment or my sentiments... And I'm just going to tip all my sentiments into here so I can easily flick through them when we get to that point. So I like to keep this all fairly organised so I can just tip it into a bucket, use it, and I've got it into rough categories. And that just helps me a lot. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you've been playing with the um, August challenge. That's fantastic. Is that the Christmas Stampathon, Colleen, or the colour challenge? Because I do two. 
This was the colour challenge and it is a group over on Facebook so you can find it and we've got four colours. I added in the grey but Pool Party, Fresh Freesia, Blushing Bride and... Oh my god! Pale Papaya. What is what is the oh the wattle it's also in the mini catalog it is called uh, brightest beauty that's the wattle brightest beauty but i just don't think it'll work for what i've grabbed out um where i love these flowers oh i just found something very i just found these rhinestones with my stamps that's not good. So these flowers that I've already used, they are from Blessings of Home. So I've stamped and coloured these out. And would you believe these are pretty close to the colour challenge as well. So we've got Pale Papaya, we've got Fresh Freesia. Um, so they do work with the colours that I've already got out, which is great. Thank you, Donna. I like it too. Hey, Marjean. Oh, good. You girls are talking within yourself. I'm talking to each other within the chat, which is great. So, what I possibly thought I could do, although these are stuck down, I thought I could... Or I could just snip off the bottom and attach it. Because would you believe it's even already got dimensionals. And I'm going to be a big, brave kind of person. Very, very brave. And snip this off. Okay. And then... I'm just seeing if it will work with this. I thought I could do that. Just pop my finger behind there to lift it up to see if we can slide. And my hands are being very shaky this morning. I'm in a bit of pain, but I'm thinking my pain medication has now um, kicked in, which is nice. That and a phone call from school are never, never welcome. Uh, actually, I think, I think I'm going to punch this out and maybe just pop it on top. Maybe I shouldn't have snipped. Or I think it may even look better in our little squashed friend there. Pink or pool party? I'm going to cut out the pink first. Oh, wow. Oh, Cherie, I do it as I go. I, oh, I'd have so much stuff everywhere if I did it like that. Wow. That's very, or pink, Bev. Yes, I'm tending to agree. So, as I said, no, um, no dyes for this one. So, we're just going to do a little bit of hand cutting. And look, I'm even using my paper snips. Because this isn't, isn't difficult hand cutting. It's just... Just getting it done, hand cutting. Just a little bit of a wiggle around here. Helps if that's straight. And if you notice, I am moving the image more than what I am moving my actual scissors. And that is kind of the trick to hand cutting is you open and close your scissors but you mainly move the paper or vellum in this case it gives you a nice smooth area 
Okay, I don't know if I should have cut this off now. I'm kind of thinking I might be able to reattach it, but we shall see. Ah, oh, that's such a good idea, Cherie. There are so many different ways to do things, and I love when people find the thing that works for them. Okay. So, do you know what? I think that might be... That works well. What I do kind of want to grab... Not that I'm necessarily going to use it, but I do kind of just want a card front here. I just want to, I just want to see for reference size. You know, sometimes you just need a reference for where you're going and what you're doing. So, just for reference, oh, I really do need a bone folder here. Bone folder, bone folder. Do you know what I could do? I just had a brilliant idea. Could use that and use this. Right, just hang with me here for a sec and use that and have this coming out of here, just plain. Do you know what? It would look so much better on this side because of the way that second bunch kind of obscures. So have that there, or somewhere around-ish there. I know we're not perfect, but it's kind of working. I'm just going to leave that little bit there. I'm very tempted to use my brushed brass butterflies for this one. Um, you are positively the greatest. Now, I know this is in blue. It's actually in Night of Navy. But the two circles together kind of work. Now, this is in petal pink. But I think this might also work. Best wishes. What else do we have here? I've just got to think of what I might like on the background. I don't want to use the same one. You matter to me. Maybe, but it is more vellum. I think we've got like heaps of vellum on this. Oh, we've got the happy 18th birthday. Wishing you everything wonderful. I'm thinking best wishes may actually win this round. Yes, yeah, exactly, Cherie. Exactly. Um, the positively, you are positively the greatest. It comes from la 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 la, la trying to find the stamp set okay the you are positively the greatest comes from the cottage rose stamp set so i actually more bought this cottage rose set and the best wishes actually comes from there as well i bought this stamp set for the sentiments not necessarily for the gorgeous flowers but i loved the sentiments because you've got everything best wishes happy birthday um feel better real soon friends forever it's going to be fab which is a bit of an encouragement card and you are positively the greatest so that is really really cool yeah Cherie, i think i can only handle um, my use it up pouch if I had more made I think it would drive me 
bananas. So I'm kind of liking that this is offset. We're really just working with what we have here. Oh no, we're going this one, aren't we? I could refix it. I think I'm going to have to. I think that was really premature um, snipping there. But anyway, um, now what kind of background would I like? To put this on and I'm going to grab lots of backgrounds out of here because I have lots of things in here so I'm going to I don't think the butterflies will work they're a bit busy so that's from a one sheet wonder oh no I don't think my artistically inked is that what it's called artistically inked no oh this has oh that's all my christmas sentiments this one has oh do you know what that die set doesn't exist so that can become ivy's envelope they're my christmas sentiments so they're definitely not going to work i mean i could get them to work but um, oh Ooh, this may work just oh ooh, no let's see this one oh i'm loving the dramatic effect of the gray as so i'm assuming this is gray granite don't think that one will work don't think that one will work oh is that delivery for you, David? Yes. It's an Amazon box. Yes. Oh, David's happy. He just got delivery at the front door. So this could be Christmas or non-Christmas. Uh, no, too busy. These are my wattles. No. Okay. Hmm. I'm missing backgrounds out of here, but I think our um, stitched greenery die is going to work perfectly hello miss cheryl how are you now miss cheryl i want to do something here um, i want to press three little buttons here and do that so i've just made you a moderator cheryl because you're normally always here and now that your internet is fixed I know you'll be here majority of the time. Okay. Not that I fixed the moderator issue. I'm I fixed our um our troll issues. I'm liking it on the white card base. Loving the um grey granite. It just looks really moody. And the fact we can see it. So I think this is like three or four layer oh, maybe it's only two it's two layers of vellum stuck together so it is less transparent than our normal um vellum would be oh my god that looks so good actually i'm really really happy with that although I do need to find a way to snip these back together i'm thinking a glue dot may work because it's still going to be hidden but i do just need to meld them back together because i think seeing that oh out and about all day i love that time to chill i've had a bit of a I've had a bit of a morning and I'm glad I'm in a much better mood than what I was in earlier. Otherwise, you would have got very grumpy and frustrated, Ellen. But I'm feeling better now. And I was in pain too. So, yeah. You know, all the joy of all I the didn't things. Get that. Could you try again? No, I couldn't, Siri, because you're being nosy. Sure, I understand. Mm, exactly. So I have picked this up 
and I'm going to line this up. David's having fun with the airfield pouches. I can hear him popping them. Okay, so they are together. Sorry, I'm a bit at the bottom of the screen. Okay, that's together. And once it's behind that bottle, no one's going to be able to tell. Because that's what I'm going to do right now. I am... Oh, actually... Do I want... Because that's the actual side. I think I want the darker side. The actual stamp side. I did have it on the more subtle side. Okay. Going to take a glue dot. Just put it at the neck of the bottle. And then... We're going to pray. I can't even pick this up. There we go. On the neck of the bottle. And we're just going to go about there. It isn't. And I just want to flick that over just a titch. What I wouldn't mind doing is grabbing a mini glue dot, a mini, not mini glue dot, a mini dimensional, just to give that edge some extra rigidity. And now, yes, nowhere near as floppy as what it was, and you can just see that stem in the bottle. Okay, so now what I feel we need to do is just, I'm going to pop this to the side over here because we've chosen our sentiment. We're using what? One, two, three, four, five, use it up, but bits and bobs. So, sorry, I just need a drink. I had food on here just before I went live. Okay, so what I want to do, bring my rubbish bin over, grab my tool, don't want to take all of them off. But what I kind of want to do is adhere the bits to here. Actually, what I also just want to do, because we're using vellum, I'm trying to use as little glue as possible. But I will just need a little strip at the bottom using my stamp and seal. Okay, now time to place this little baby on. Okay, so now we have this as one piece. We'll definitely need some embellishment over here because it is definitely aligned more left than what it is right because I previously had this bottle on here. Now, I do, I do want this piece on dimensionals. And what I am going to do is I'm going to snip this edge off. And I love that we have in our trimmer all these raised pieces. So even if I wanted to snip it over here, it's got two, three raised pieces to, um, <clears throat> to hold it so it doesn't go crooked when I do this. Okay, that's pretty good to me. I am more than happy to pop that piece in the recycling. Okay, I will put some dimensionals on this. 
because I think that will make it look fantastic. the hippos a couple of times I'm just not sure how much they'd be a go-to but they are awfully cute and I haven't used them as much as what I wanted so do I wish they'd stay around a bit longer yeah probably okay we're just gonna work on this card front here so just want this here oh that bottle is not straight does it look really bad yeah it does it does can I very carefully maybe I can move just the bottle part wish me luck I think that's better okay so because I have so much so many layers of vellum here I'm just going to pop a strip of seal there then I am going to grab all of these oh that one just came off all by itself so I just give it a bit of a poke in the middle haha <laughs> I say that and it's not going to work okay now my fingers are thoroughly stuck to everything what that's what happens when you recycle them what happens when I recycle them <laughs> okay so I've totally missed what you've said somewhere along the way there Cheryl but that's okay you know what, I may even want this a little further up, just so we have kind of a bit of equal room, top and bottom. And I'm fine with this sticking up a bit at the side. We're going to add our sentiment, and we're going to see what else we actually need, because this is Cheat's Way. I'd already coloured this with Stampin' Blends. Um, I'd already stamped my bottles. I'm way ahead of the game here. Hello, Maria. Do you know what? I can just go a bit further down, I think. Perfect. Oh, please don't tell me I've missed what you said, Cheryl. Yeah, those are cute. I don't know where it came from. Ah, oh, the bottle was crooked. Oh, it's a recycled shine mug. Okay, I'm with you now, Cheryl. All good, all good. All in context now. So I'm pretty happy with that. I am feeling, because we have a bit of a darker background, we will need some, and do you know what? I'm not convinced a white card base is the way to go. It was great for when we were trying to work out what we were doing, but I don't think it's the colour to go for. I'm actually thinking of picking up a pool party one do I have a card base here yes I do thank you past Ellen 
just thinking a pool party card base. Uh, I think that looks better than the white. Just go and fold it. Then it'll sit properly and give you the best look. I think I like the pool party. Because there's not much pull party on the card, but it certainly does pull it out. Well, see, there's, this is old olive. It's not soft succulent. But soft succulent, you are right, Cheryl, does work for everything. I'm thinking pull party. Okay, 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 everyone. Okay, this is the wrong orientation, but I'm not folding this one. I think soft succulent's too dark. Pool party gives a lift. You love the pool party. The bottle colour is pool party, Cheryl. That's why I picked it. Hello, Mr. Linda. How's your wrist? Although the soft succulent does look good. But it's just nowhere else in the card. That's the problem. I love how these two just pop off the card, which is why I'm thinking I need to pick out. I think we're going to go here. So just get that other bottle to shine. But soft succulent did look good. I'm always right. I'm not always right. Uh, no, not always. Just sometimes. Just sometimes. Ah, oh, thank you, Delinda. Look, I'm more than happy to um, share with you what something may look like. More than happy. Okay. Glue, 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 glue. Right. I love that I've done no stamping yet so far. Some days it's just nice to stick and plonk. And I have an order on the floor next to me as well. So next week we may be pulling together a kit. I got it yesterday, but I had other things to do and never got to opening the box. Okay, so I think there's a whole lot of white in this background and we need some more white and I do have white in our classic matte dots so we've got these really nice crisp white ones which I'm hoping will work and just the the white is like whoa in your face you're fine barbara you stay here stay here live with us and watch the replay later because uh, i don't think you can go back while we're live anyway okay knock the glue over because i'm that special now the other thing you can do is you can color these white ones by the looks of it i have colored um these so just drawing your eye down to where the bottles are i'm just having a look at my replay screen to have a look how it looks see i like that and then i'm thinking maybe just so we've got that triangle, because that's worked well so far, is just have, I don't know if this big one's going to be too big. No, try. No, that works. And then on a slight angle, there. So tell me what you find. I will take my two cents back. <laughs> look Cheryl it looked good it was just a little dark we needed to add some lightness to the card so I'm happy to leave this one right here um, what's time what's time what's time should we see if we can do another one 
what do you reckon? Or should we just leave it at one very pretty card? That had no stamping and took us 40 minutes to make. Oh, no problem, Cindy. Thank you for popping in while I am live. Should you vote yes, do another one. So we're going to be using these two. So I'm going to have to grab and I'm going to lean over you guys on my computer here and grab my vintage bottle punch. Okay. And what I wanted to tell you on this card, which was the original card where all these or where the bottle scraps came from, I actually put these bottles on to basic white cardstock and adhered them to give them that opacity that makes them look like a, it's not just vellum. So these ones are just vellum where these ones are vellum on to white cardstock. So you can see the difference. Oh, I'm sorry, I sat back down. I'm so sorry for pulling your hair, Cheryl. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so you can see the difference of putting it on white cardstock and just leaving them as vellum. So do you want me to show you how I did that? Putting them on the cardstock? Because I'm thinking that will look really pretty. So I just need some scraps. Basic white scraps. Two scraps. Don't have many scraps these days. But when I do, they work. Okay, so what I do with these... Let me see which side. So this one has, I rejected it because it does have a little imperfection. So to make it so you don't see the glue, because you kind of do see the glue a little bit here, is I cover the whole image with this glue. So I try really hard not to overlap the glue so I cover the entire image in the glue so then you can't see or you do see the glue but it's all consistent okay so that is all consistent under there you're seeing you're seeing that and then I can punch that I'm just seeing, and this one is another little bit of mist stamping, but it will be fine. We will work something out. Okay, and then I am going to pop this onto here. Great. So you've got that look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, you girls crack me up. Okay, so the vintage bottle punch. I, am, I may need to snip some off the bottom here, but we shall see. And I'm going to have to create a little handle as well. And you'll understand why the little handle in a second. And I'm going to literally cut the top of this to create my handle and not poke myself with the scissors that is not useful at all so I want to create a slightly longer piece here and I want something to hold on to just so when I pop it in I still have something to hold on to at the top to move this around 
and I'm hoping my head slight freshly washed hair is not in the way so you girls and guys although I haven't seen Brenton drop in yet Bobby hopefully is still here Da, 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 da. Right, let's just go for it. It's off, but that's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's punched out. Now, all of that goes in the bin. And then we're going to hand cut our um, Blushing Bride one. And I am definitely switching to my Sprung non-stampin' up scissors to help my hand here. Yes, well, I got it because I love the texture on these bottles. Um, and I did use the flowers in the background. I do have some bottle and flower pieces as well that I need to do something with, but I just don't know where. I think I know where they are, but they're not going to suit what we're using here so just hand cut another one can i hear a little pitter patter of paws thought i could hear louisa moving around okay turn edge is sharp on my fingers. This one right down here. Okay. These do not have to be perfect in any way, shape or form. They just need to be cut out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these now. So I'm going to have another look through my Use It Up bits and see what comes out. Okay, in the bin. Right. Okay, use it up bits. So I've got these two here. So you can actually see the difference between putting it on the cardstock and just the vellum. Oh, they went back in the wrong one. Silly me. I think this is all going to have to be tipped out now, just so I can look. Do you just have some blank flowers? I know the flowers seem a little bit big, but tell me what you think. Should I just put a blank flower in each? Oh, see, I've got that spare bottle, but that spare bottle looks a bit odd. Oh, I have little leaves from the hydrangea set. Mainly one little lot of leaves. Oh, I do have some hydrangea style flowers if they'll come out. I don't mind the black and white on there, actually. No, then we've got lots of butterflies. So, oh, that's a whale. Couldn't work it out from the back. Oh, but these are the ones that are... These are... Okay, Cheryl. Right, they are wood bits, which, oh, I've got these bits. Cheryl, you made me look. These are all my shapes, just my die cut shapes. I will leave that out. And then we have more 
die cutting. Oh, why do I have two of those? I don't know. I don't know. I do have two packs of these, but that's okay. Oh, some of these are even embossed, although I think I need to go through these. I don't think these are quite going to do what I need them to do, but, okay, I don't think they're going to work either. But will these work better in the bottles? So we've got our flowers or our green, well, and it's the same colour. It's the um, grey granite. So white flowers or grey granite sprigs and twigs. Bit of ASMR going on here. I know what I'm after. I think. Do you know what I should just do? I should just dump them into a basket. Oh, I know. She's making up for all the time she had no internet, Delinda. She's being very bossy. And I'm just going with it because I think I'm too scared to cross her. But I love her. But yes, maybe not tonight. Okay, so oh, that one leans a bit too far that way. Okay, so... I don't think they really work. If they were in white, they'd work really, really well. But are these too big? I've got a frog in my throat. Sprigs or flowers? I knew someone would say that to Linda. I knew someone would say that. Okay. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. Just seeing if, no, I don't think it'll work on that either. Just wondering what I'm going to be putting them on. So these can go back in there, which is all fine. So what am I going to put them on? Brains Trust. <laughs> flowers, okay. That's easy. I do like the flowers and I love how bold and crisp they look against the um, the vases, bottles, whatever you want to call them. Um, do you know what I am going to consult is my, I'm just wondering if there is going to be a really cool light background in something. Grab down my butterfly kisses because I don't know why. Actually, this is a new pack. I know 200 cards 
from her bits and bobs. That was a pretty amazing effort. Really amazing effort to make that many from bits and bobs. I don't think I can make that many from my bits and bobs. Not complete cards anyway. We're doing well. We did one complete card using bits and bobs. Just looking at some possibilities for <clears throat> for some backgrounds. No. 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 God no. What do we think of that green polka dot? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you think. Go for the dots, okay, right. Oh my word, I'm leaving you girls to it. Oh yeah, definitely not. Okay, so go for the green polka dot. Haven't, I haven't got sentiment. Okay, put that back in there. Need to get my little sentiment. Because I really do just want to use these up. So this is from the charming, the charming sentiments with the matching dies. Wishing you everything wonderful. That kind of just works. And I'm thinking of doing a landscape cut. So let me trim this down and I'm thinking of maybe going uh, two centimetres. Let me just check something here. Oh no, I need to go nine. Yep, yeah, that's better. So it was one and a half centimetres down, which is a titch over half an inch. So it is one and a half. See, now I'm creating more paper scraps. But that's okay. These scraps go in with there. Green works. <laughs> I feel like I haven't actually seen your face in forever, Miss Cindy. Okay, I'm feeling this one definitely needs to kind of be there. But we need something under here. Fresh Freezer works with everything I've decided at the moment. Obviously have that popped up. I don't mind the addition of a fourth colour because it all works. The Granny Apple works. I think we're just going to go for that. Da, da, da. 
<laughs> Everyone's just watching. Everyone's just watching. If I'm doing something that someone doesn't agree with, please tell me because often what you've thought I've already considered in my head but not verbalised. So you girls always have wonderful suggestions. They're just something that I'm not doing. Just gluing die cuts together. Good work, darling. I'm surprised Cindy doesn't have a meeting tonight and that she got time off to meet us here. Very busy lady. Time off for good behaviour. Yeah, no, no, no. It's all in good fun. Especially when Cindy hasn't been around recently and neither have you, Cheryl. So, catching up on all that. Okay, there we go. Catching up on all that lost time. Okay, wishing you everything wonderful is there. I'm thinking we oh, just drop that flower. And I dropped it again. Okay, I have it back. I am thinking a white card base. Well, we shall see how it works. Try before we commit. This one does not want to leave. That's a nice pop. Nice framing margin as well. I don't mind if the wishing you everything wonderful like is off a little bit. Or do I have it down and then the flowers can, I think we need to have it down for the flowers to sing at the top here. Now, I'm thinking this one in this one and this one in this one. I think that works because it doesn't matter if they're now bottles flat on and flowers dimensional is what I'm thinking so hurry up and oh no I'm not using any stems for these cottage rose stem is there a stem in that set Ah, there is, but no. Yes, it is a pretty stem, but I don't quite think it goes with... Because see how you've got all that detail in the stem? It doesn't really go with these flowers. But these Happiness and Bounds flowers um, do have greenery of their own. It's just... I don't have any in the used up box, so I'm not using it. And then I'd love some ideas of things you might like to see next week. I think I'm going to go with a kit on Tuesday, and I'm definitely going to do an earlier video on Tuesday uh, because I do have a funeral to go to. Um, sadly, yes, um, but a lovely friend of mine um, passed away a couple of weeks ago and it's her memorial. She was actually a team member as well. She just recently um, signed up again. I'll say again because she's signed up a number of times over the years, but yes going to her memorial on Tuesday and it will be happening 
during my uh, normal live time and I'm sure without looking at everything I swear I've also got something on next Thursday and may have to go early next Thursday I can have a look on my computer I don't know this framing margin looks I'm just going to put some more glue down because I have no slip and slide effect which I really want okay take five Look, I keep on putting it in the same place and I think really that's what the universe is telling me. And it is on crooked. Yep. It is. And I can't change it. Wow. Oh, thank you. Every card I make is better than the last. Thank you, Darlene. Sometimes I don't agree, but I love the compliment. Thank you so much. Okay. Especially when this one is crooked, but you know what? We shall live and deal with it. And we're using quite a few of the same products from... Tuesday's video because we use these white flowers or one of them on Tuesday's video and I'm definitely going to uh, do the same thing with Wink Costella and just make them sparkly flowers okay yeah but sh Cindy you have to sh Cheryl doesn't want everyone to know she's a sweetheart she wants to keep up the facade and the bravado. Shh. Oh, she's... Ah, oh, is it popcorn time, Cheryl? Or is it dinner? You know for me it'll be lunchtime soon. Because I normally have a bit of a later lunch. Anyway, well, I will this morning because um, everything sort of didn't happen this morning. So I had quite a late breakfast. Okay, I've got a big bit of glue here. Okay. Popcorn, of course it is. Ah, oh, thank you for sharing, Dawn. I appreciate that. Oh, now your screen's buttery. <laughs> well, we'll make you clean your screen now. Okay, now, I said this one I'm going to put... Here, and it's kind of good it's breaking the mat because I've broken the mat with the sentiment as well so that kind of works now we've got to think this will definitely need some embellishment but what embellishment so I could use some grey which are the same ones I used in this card Now, I do want this flower just to sit down a little bit because um, I didn't want it to break the top and bottom. And I don't want these uh, bottles hanging in the air. So I'm going to take a tinsy bit. Just let me. Of course, I opened the wrong end. 
since when can I make you do anything, <laughs> Cheryl? Well, that is true. Oh, that's a bit dark. Just going to have to be super duper. Just being super duper precise here. And then I'm going to come in with my colour lifter just to push that deeper into the cardstock just to let it fade so it's there but it's not in not quite as prominent as when we first did it so you can see how that's there but it's just faded off now we said we we're going to use wing costella and we're just going to try this on the back of my hand and this is the one that is not um, pulling everywhere or maybe it is use it quickly and we'll be fine I think I got it everywhere now this will buckle just a little bit and when it dries, I, I am being liberal with um, two coats just to give that beautiful shimmer and shine. Okay, so let's see if I can show you exactly how shimmery that is. Just okay, definitely need some embellishment. What are we going to use? Thoughts? Oh, this is petal pink, but I do have a pool party in here. So these are a bit more solid, so Balmy, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Melon Mambo, Pool Party, and I think Evening, no, Mossy Meadow. So they're faceted, but they're solid. Pearls would work. Iridescent pearls. Goldstone's a polish up really nice. Uh, well, I don't have any because I don't have a gallbladder. My gallstones are long gone a couple of years ago. Sorry, I'm just now trying to find my iridescent pearls. Here they are. So, oh, we've got the iridescent pearls. I think the iridescent pearls would look nice. Oh, my God. So these have an iridescent sheen on them. But we use white there. That's why I kind of want to use something different. I think I'm going to go for these. But the pearls would also look really, really good. Oh, God, girls. Oh, my dear word. Right here. That's what I was just thinking. Just that. So, what do we think? 
<laughs> You're okay. You're most entertaining, girls. Most entertaining. So, what do we think of that? Just go up a bit. Something a bit different. I'm liking the white space here, even though it's patterned paper. You've got somewhere for your eye to rest. Kind of have done an L design because we've used the full column here and then gone across. Lovely. Awesome. Nice card. Pretty. Amazing. Great. Good to know. Good to know you gals approve. Wait, this doesn't stick to anything now. Okay, so what have we used? Well, I'm here to tell you and one I didn't grab. So on our first card that I will just try to move everything out of the way. But I'm going to cause an avalanche in a second. On my first card, we have used stitched greenery dye so i already had that in my use it up box we've used the sentiment from cottage rose we have used the flower that was pre-colored in with blends from blessings of home we have also used the vintage christmas for the bottles and the stylish shapes for the two lots of die cutting and I used the basic now I can't find them don't tell me I put them away because I was being ever so efficient you know I probably did because I'm sure I didn't though no, I haven't they will turn up in just a second I'm sure um, and we use the classic matte dots for just to bring in some of that whiteness. On our second card, we've used a vintage Christmas again. And I have used Happiness Abounds. And I have used the sentiment from, where is it? Charming Sentiments. So this is from Charming Sentiments and this comes with the dies that cut around the sentiment. And I used these solid faceted gems. Just trying to get everything on screen. Oh, where are these gems? Ah, they're hiding under here. I found them. I knew I hadn't got rid of them. Ah, oh, my pleasure. Yes, it was a bit of fun this evening. I'm glad you girls uh, do have a bit of fun together because it just makes the card making fun. So the classic matte dots are coming in white, vanilla, basic grey and basic black. So I'm just going to pop those down here. Um, you, all these products can be purchased in my online store. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I do have a link to my online store down below. Um, and I will be back on Tuesday. I think we will be doing a bit of a kit video on um, Tuesday. And I will be on early. So um, yeah, I'll probably get on, get off and go straight to the funeral. But it will be a um, it'll be a bit of an unboxing um, and a kit play. So we will have a look what's in my box over the weekend as I unpack it, and then we can go from there. But thank you so much for your support and your giggles and your feedback with how I was doing things. Happy to have your help. And I will catch you on Thursday. Don't forget thumbs up on your way out. And thumbs up on your way out. And make sure you're subscribed. I know you've all been subscribers because you've been able to comment. Uh, but if you're watching on the replay and wondering why you couldn't, why you may not be able to comment live, it's because we've had problems with trolls. 
and I have a subscriber only chat so um, then we are all good and troll free except for the cheekiness which we can more than handle so have a wonderful one thank you Donna I appreciate the thumbs up I will talk to you on Tuesday over on Facebook bye